Hey everyone, it's Rick Carbione, and you're welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finished off the little intermissions between Peach and uh, Bowser as well. And we also came back to Rogueport to find out that the next Crystal Star is literally up in the sky. And I forgot to show this, but there's actually a map here. I didn't really show this off, but there's a lot of things you get, including badges, catalog, and crystal stars, but here you can actually see the map, and it's actually pretty nice, but anyways, right here, uh, this is Glitzville, and we have to go there next. However, I would like to show you guys something. Uh, if you guys remember, I stepped on the contact lens a while ago, uh, before starting Chapter 2, and... Luckily, we're able to finally pick it up here. I just totally forgot it's right here, actually. Oops, a daisy. And now, with this, we are now able to give this to the chef of the game, actually. She is indeed the chef, in which she will combine items and make them better. Now, of course, oh, she kind of walked right through us. That's kind of weird. But yeah, she allows you she allows you to, you know, make stuff and if possible the items will become better. If not, then you'll probably get an item called mistake. Now over here we're going to investigate a little bit that part of the town a little bit later. Right now I want to check if this guy actually has what I want to get. He does not. However, Ultra Shroom though is kind of nice, actually. I wouldn't mind getting this. Uh Actually, let me check my inventory. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have done this beforehand, but... You guys know me. Yep, I should probably totally store that Ultra Shroom. So, yeah. Uh, by the time I'm recording this... I hope you guys are getting... Uh, enjoying yourselves with the new layout on YouTube. It's, not, it's really not that bad, but... Anyways, right here you can store items if you wish. And I think I will, actually, because I'm never going to need this end coupon. Uh, Sleepy Sheep, I'm probably not going to... I should probably sell those, actually. Nah, eh, screw it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that with the spin jump... Um, the spin jump actually allows you to reveal these stars. These stars the star piece panels here and one in particular there's actually one right here and with that this upgrade allows you to pretty much find a lot of star uh, star pieces out already I'm not going to do that though just because to save up time and I'm probably going to do that all in one video at one point so yeah uh, last time however uh, if you remember correctly Professor Frankly did mention that we should probably find some way to contact uh, a man, a mob, a mob boss named uh, Don Pianta, but he also wanted to tell us that we have to go in here. And uh, if you talk to this guy, he's going to reveal us something kind of awesome. He knows how to get to Don Pianta, which is pretty nice because we're going to need it anyway. You need to do this. Just saying that right now. So yeah. He literally wants you to buy the freaking thing, so you might as well just do it. In case. You don't really need to if you know what you're doing, but I'm just gonna do exactly what you probably would be doing. So it's pretty nifty. So right here he's telling you that there is a parlor slash item shop in town to the west. And uh, if you couldn't tell, um, that's the reason why you have to get that contact lens side quest out of the way. Alright? And right now he's basically telling you you have to buy a dry shroom and a dizzy dial in that order. And then there will be a boo. The shopkeeper, the shop owner, will actually ask you a question: What's your favorite color? And uh, if you say yellow, she will grant you access to Don Pianta. So that is pretty nifty. Uh, 
yeah, it's pretty great actually. So, with that in mind, since there's actually a lot of things we could do, actually I'm going to show this off right here. I forgot there's this one person down here, I believe. I think he's here. Hopefully he is, otherwise, you know, I'll be really sad, but... Is he here? Yes, he is! This guy, um... You can actually make an investment with this guy, and, uh, he'll actually go make a little investment with your money, but of course. However, we do not have 100 coins, sadly. If you did, however, um, at some point in the game later on, he would actually give you back your money plus more. And because of this, you can actually rack up a lot of coins from that one thing right there. But I'm not going to do that because gaining coins is a lot easy. It's really easy, but anyways. Are you guys ready for the west part of Rogueport? Because here it is. It's very beautiful, and right there, as you can see, there's, there's actually a train over there. And over here, there's a Pianta parlor. That's pretty nifty. Uh, however, you want to go back here. And uh, the shopkeeper is a boo. It's pretty awesome. So anyways, first off, you want to buy a dry shroom and a dizzy dial. All worth it. And uh, sh right here. Oh, oh, I guess she talks, uh, she asks you a question about the color of your mustache. Which in this case, technically, would be black, but in this case, just say yellow. Oh, that's right, she, yeah, I totally forgot she asked you the wrong, quest wrong question. Here it is, your favorite color, say yellow. And, uh, you better freaking answer it right, otherwise you're probably going to have to buy the, the exact same items again, just because. I don't know why the game does that, but, you know, whatever works out. So there you have it. And right here, we get to hear awesome music and the mob boss himself. <sighs> yeah, give us the blimp tickets, man. We kind of need that. No. We're not, we're not really comedians. That, that's kind of weird. I wouldn't really consider myself to be really funny or anything. You know. <laughs> that's cool. So, he's going to just basically tell you to do something for him in return, and he'll give you the blimp tickets, which we really do need. And, of course, somehow these guys know uh, about the legend, of course. Oh, dang. Flurry. Oh, God. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with me? But, anyways, right here. He's going to make you do a favor, of course. And, right now, he's basically going to want you to find his daughter and a worker of his, which, yeah, as you, as you know, mob bosses are apparently really, 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 really overprotected with their daughters. So we pretty much have to go find them, and they're not really that far off, actually. I'm actually going to cut to where they are, uh, of course, after this little cutscene of awesomeness, I guess. Yeah, that's right, you tell them to shut up. They say boss way too much. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay, I totally didn't need to know that, but yeah. Don't worry, we'll find them, we'll find them. It's pretty great. Alright, so... I will cut you guys there. Alright, they'll they'll be both right here at the parlor. She thinks I'm a creep. I'm not a creep. Especially not in Minecraft, I'm not a creeper. That's kinda weird. 
Oh, I guess these two are actually trying to run away for once. Because they're in love. And apparently that's what couples do. That's not usual. Eh, well, maybe. I don't know. What the heck am I talking about? Come on. Sugar cookie. These horrible... Oh, those were horrible names. No one? Pretend... Uh, yeah... Do I really have to be the jerk around this? I really don't want to. I guess. I'm pretty sure you have to say that either way, so... Either way, he... The fact that, you know, her father pretty much knows what the heck's going on. You know. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I'll cut you back to where we have to go again. Two dead! Two Don Piantas! Wow. Fail. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Alright, one little thing I forgot to mention is that, uh, after you do the little Don Pianta thing, you can always come back here whenever you want, so it's pretty awesome. So here we go! Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't know what you could really do, to be honest. What? Hello. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> I like how Mario and Flurry kind of just scoot, scooch back. <laughs> this loyal. Jesus, your love must be really strong. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Jeez, why are you yelling, dude? What the hell's wrong with you? Last favor, really? Aww. I feel bad for these two, slightly. Oh, well, dude, that was hurtful. Jeez. <clears throat> yes, totally. Good job, Frankie. Good job. go. And now, talk to him again. Soap opera, really? You kind of made that yourself, to be honest. But anyways, we finally got the freaking blimp tickets. My god. Wasn't even that long, but, you know, still. Okay. See you later, dude. Alright, so with that side quest out of the way, it's not really much of a side quest to be honest with you, but with that out of the way, we can now finally get ready for Chapter 3. Indeed, Glitzville, which is actually one of my favorite cha- You! <laughs> Shut up! Why are you telling me this? Oh, it's probably because I haven't checked an email, right? That's why he keeps telling me. 
Yeah, okay, well, screw that. Anyways, come over here. There's actually something important. Actually, that's where the blimp is, and so this has been Ray Kirby Ownage. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this lovely episode of Paper Mario Thousand Eudora. And I will see you guys next time. Okay? Okay. Goodbye, everyone!